How's it going? I'm Paul Leaves, and this is my Aquinity Barn Check. So my family was not into roping or rodeo. Me and my sisters, we, we uh, really wanted to ride. When I was about eight, nine years old, uh, got some horses, learning to ride, you know, did the play days and the flag race and the everything. And when I was about 12, my dad and I saw a team roping at the local arena, the junior rodeo maybe going on. And, uh, and we didn't really have any idea about team roping or anything. And seen it and wanted to kind of do it together. That's when we bought a little kind of horse pony for me to, I, you know, I was pretty young, learned to heel on. And my dad bought a head horse. We dug up the pasture there at the house. And I think we had four steers and, and put up some panels. and and went to, went to roping. Sometime a year or two in, and I don't even knew, know if I knew you could make money at it or do it for a living, but I wanted to get good at it. So then I started really roping a lot, and that's about the time it took off for me. Amanda and I bought this uh, place in early 2016. We uh, <clears throat> really liked the area, and there wasn't anything here. We had uh, just a raw piece of land with, with a house on it and so we pretty much did everything and cleared the trees and, and built all the horse pens and arena and starting to take shape into what we're wanting. This is one of the first things we built on the place. Uh, all these pens right here, we wanted to have a good spot to put our horses and it was easy to feed them. Pens off each side and alley down the middle. And uh, this is where I keep most of my good horses. This is, uh, this is an eight-year-old horse. Uh, he's a Woody B. Tough. We call him, uh, call him Woody. I rode him, I think, two years. He had the Futurities, his five and six-year-old year. And then uh, rodeoed on him for two years now. Kind of been my rodeo jackpot horse, but he's done done very good. He doesn't, doesn't like the camera, obviously. <laughs> this, is a, this is a mare I call Jade. She is, a, I think she's 11 this year. She's the horse I rode at the uh, 2020 NFR, won the world on her. She's been very important to me and my family and, and what I've won on her and done on her. Her and, and Woody's kind of the first two horses I used Aquinity on. And uh, they both had injuries, soft tissue injuries, and so that's when I started using it and started seeing a huge difference in her, for sure, like coming back from her suspensory injury and and came back as good as ever. So this is uh, Bourbon. She's a seven-year-old mare that I've used uh, a lot the last few years. Won some pretty big ropings on her, and she's She's pretty special to us. Um, she had an injury, soft tissue injury last summer that kind of kept her out half the year. And so really having a quinity to, to help bring her back and, and get everything healed up has uh, really sped it up for her and, and it's helped me as well. You know, we're asking them for everything they got. I mean, it's, you know, just how I give everything I have into roping. It takes everything they have physically and mentally too. I mean, it's not just, you know, being an athlete, it's them mentally being into it. And, and the really great ones, they really want to do good. To me, like a, a good horse, yeah, they're athletic, do all the stuff, but a great horse to me is just, they, they want it as much as you do. Doing what we're doing, you're gonna have some injuries. You're, you know, it, we're asking a lot of them, good ground, bad ground, everything. I started using Aquinity to uh, help the healing on my good horse, my good mare. But then now that I've had them on it, all my few good ones, it seems like they're staying healthier and I'm not having to be at the vet as much and injecting this and doing that. Their recovery time is really good. Like I'm not a supplement guy for the most part. So I, I feel like that speaks to how good Aquinity really is because I've never given, I give them hay and I give them grain and that's it. To actually see a difference, uh, it's made me a believer. 
This is my arena. It's one of the first things, like I said earlier, we built on the place. Keep making improvements to it and make stuff easier, more comfortable for us. The two biggest things I've done with it is uh, put this box cover up over here and then put the arena lights up. To have the lights where we can rope early morning or, or late into the night has, has really helped us, helped our, keep our horses feeling good and cattle. For us, this is where it all takes place and, and uh, we spend more of our time here than, than anywhere. Well, with that, we'll uh, get our horses ready and get to roping.